on May 5th, he came into a gun shop that I worked at in Jensen Beach, uh, looking to purchase body armor. He, there was just something off about him. I uh, would not let him walk behind me, ever. He was off. He was adamant he wanted body armor. That's it. Um, the store doesn't sell body armor. He questioned me about where he could find some locally. Um, just his demeanor was just off. There was something wrong with him. Um, not, you know, in a position of authority or anything like that. So that's, you know, I go to the next step up the chain that I know, and that happens to be the person I contacted. And it was just a heads up, you know, hey, you know, this happened. Um, be aware. So um, tell me a little about uh, how long it was before authorities came and. It, Within an, hour, within an hour, um, a three-letter agency, plain clothes, officer showed up and reviewed the footage. I know you were, you were able to report this. And investigators came in, but an incident still happened. I mean, what is your reaction to this? This is obvious that this is something that's going to stick with you. You weren't even able, you know, you recognized right away that you had seen him back in May. It's probably just because I couldn't do anything else. I mean, it's not about me. It's. There's 49 families out there. That I wish I could have done more for. And there's nothing more I could have done. I just simply refuse to sell a guy body armor. This is not freaking rocket science. What was that like? You learning that, learning that you had a feeling about this person and while well, your feeling was right. I'm not even gonna comment on that because you haven't, you've never been to war. You have not seen what a human being can do to another human being. I had feelings along that line.